Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. Setting up your LiftMaster Smart Garage Control is easy because the MyQ app just got better. When you go to the App Store or Google Play to download the MyQ app, look for this new icon. Download the app called MyQ Garage and Access Control. In this installation overview, we'll walk you through installing the MyQ app, adding the Smart Garage Control to your account, pairing and mounting the door sensor, pairing the garage door opener, and mounting the hub. Follow the progress menu at the bottom of the screen to see where you are in the setup or if you need to go back and watch a step over again. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the quick start guide for instructions and safety information. Within the US, the smart garage control is not intended for use with garage door openers in which the photoelectric sensors located near the bottom of the garage door change power mode e.g. lights on the sensors turn off after the door is closed, or any Chamberlain Group opener with a yellow learn button manufactured between 2010 and 2021, or any linear opener. Warning: To reduce risk of severe injury to persons, do not enable the smart garage control if operating either a one-piece or swinging door, to be enabled only on a sectional door. So, what's in the box? A Wi-Fi hub, a mounting plate, a door sensor, a power cord, and mounting hardware and hook and loop strips. First, let's get the MyQ app installed on your smartphone. These steps will help both Apple and Android users. Some screens may appear slightly different. Go to the App Store or Google Play and search for MyQ. A few might appear based on the make of your garage door opener. Choose the one called MyQ Garage and Access Control. Go ahead and install that one and launch it. You'll be prompted to either sign in or sign up for a MyQ account. Fill in and submit your information. As a new user, you'll receive an email to complete your registration. Follow the instructions in the email. Then you'll be able to log into your account on the app. You're in. It's time to get your Smart Garage Control connected. Let's get started. Choose the Smart Garage Control. A few things you're going to need are Access to a compatible garage door opener. A strong Wi-Fi signal inside your garage. The password for your Wi-Fi network. A ladder and tools for mounting your smart garage control. Grab the smart garage control and head to the garage. Make sure your garage door is closed. Go ahead and plug in the hub. You will see a blinking blue light. Tap Next. In the app, the hub will be listed as a discovered device. Tap the hub to continue. If you receive a Bluetooth pairing request, tap Pair. All users need to choose your home network. Make sure you enter the correct password for your Wi-Fi network. The LEDs on the hub will begin to flash. When the LED turns solid green, congratulations, you're connected. Now for the door sensor. Make sure you've pulled out the plastic tab for the battery. When prompted, press the button on the door sensor and watch for the red light. Press the button on the door sensor again. A bright light will flash in the middle of the hub and you'll hear it beep. The app lets you know pairing was successful. It's time to mount the door sensor. You can watch these steps in a video in the app. Go ahead and pick the side of the top panel of your garage door where you want to mount the door sensor. Wipe the mounting surface with a clean cloth and make sure it's nice and dry. These are your adhesive strips. They're included with the door sensor. Don't separate the strips. You're going to stick them onto the back of the door sensor, here and here. Peel off the film on one side of each adhesive strip and press firmly to attach them to the door sensor. All set. Now peel off the remaining film. You're ready to mount the sensor to the door. This is important. Find the side of the door sensor marked top. Top must always face up. You'll know you have it right because you'll be able to read the MyQ logo. Press the door sensor firmly against the garage door for 30 seconds to make sure it is securely mounted. That's it! Now let's pair your garage door opener to the smart garage control. Just a heads up, these next programming steps will cause the garage door to move. Be sure to keep the path of the garage door clear of people and objects. Grab a ladder to access your garage door motor. Select the brand of your garage door opener. If prompted, 
select the color of the Program or Learn button on your opener. When prompted, press the Program or Learn button on your garage door opener just long enough for the light to go on. Holding the Program or Learn button too long will clear all remote controls from your garage door opener's memory, and we don't want that. When programming is successful, you'll be prompted to enter a name for your garage door opener. Type a name and tap Submit or Next. It's time to mount the hub. You'll need to provide a couple of things. A pencil or marker, a Phillips head screwdriver, your trusty drill, safety glasses, a 5 30 seconds drill bit. We've got you covered for the rest. Wall anchors and screws, the mounting plate for the hub, and of course, the smart garage control hub. You may also need a ladder depending on where you choose to mount your hub. Find a location in your garage either on the ceiling, a side wall or opposing wall to the garage door that is at least six feet above the ground and near an electrical outlet that you can plug into without an extension cord. The hub should also be located at least four feet away from any metal objects. The light on the Wi-Fi hub signals when the MyQ app is being used to close the door. The hub and light must be visible at all times from within the garage. Let's look at a couple of possible mounting locations, one on the wall, and one on the ceiling. You'll need to mark the location, so grab your pencil or marker. See this arrow and screw? This is the side of the mounting plate that needs to face away from the surface. If you're mounting on a wall, we recommend you mount the plate with the drill holes horizontal and the arrow pointing upwards. Use the mounting plate as a template and mark the spots where you'll drill the holes for inserting the anchors. Safety first, put on those safety glasses. Now, use your 5 30 seconds drill bit to drill the holes for the wall anchors. Make sure you drill deep enough for the anchors to go all the way in. Push the anchors all the way into the holes. Make sure they're flush with the surface. Line up the mounting plate holes to the anchors and use the screws to secure the plate to the surface. The Smart Garage Control Hub mounts to the plate in a way that's similar to many smoke detectors. Place the Smart Garage Control Hub onto the mounting plate. There is only one place that the hub will connect to the mounting plate. Now turn the hub clockwise. The hub can be rotated 360 degrees and has stops at every quarter turn. Plug the cord into the Smart Garage Control Hub. It looks like we have some extra cord, so let's wrap it around the mounting plate until we have just enough to reach the outlet. Now, plug the other end of the cord into the power outlet and wait for the solid green LED on your Smart Garage Control Hub. When you're done, be sure to put the warning label on the wall next to the door control. Users are returned to the Devices screen. On the Devices screen, the garage door opener will be listed with an icon that shows the position of the garage door and how long it has been in that position. And that's that! Go ahead and tap the garage icon to open and close the garage door and enjoy your success. Your smart garage control can also be connected to your Yale LiftMaster Smart Lock. For information about setting that up in the MyQ app, click the info icon in the top corner. For more information, visit support.chamberlaingroup.com. We'll help you through. Thanks, and enjoy your new smart garage.